Star Battlefield 4. You haven't really seen much of this game here on my channel recently, but I bet you've never seen Knife Only Rush before. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm playing on Operation Locker, Knife Only Rush. And it was a mix up by the server, actually, because the rest of the maps were Team Deathmatch and Domination, which is where you'd expect a Knife Only server to run but Operation Locker was on rush for some reason, so it must have been a mistake by the server admin, but nevertheless gave me pretty much the most fun experience I've had in Battlefield 4 in a long time. This, what you're watching right now, is like the epic finale, where we were fighting over the last MCOM, which really was quite a brutal fight. And this game mode was just, it was making me shriek with delight. It was so fun, it was really tense at the same time, but overall, an amazing experience. This video today is really nothing specific. I just want to talk about a few things that I've got on my mind, some stuff that I want to say. So if that interests you, make sure you carry on watching. But if it doesn't interest you, that's completely fine. And there are plenty of other videos I made last week you can watch. So first up, Battlefield, specifically Battlefield 4. Where have all the videos gone, Westy? Well, I've been playing Star Wars Battlefront instead, and I've been really enjoying it, actually. I like the fact that it's so casual that I can pretty much come top of the leaderboard in any game that I play. And a lot of people don't find that very challenging, but I just find it really fun. And I really like Star Wars, so it's great being in that universe and, and being part of some of the cool battles. But that means that there's been a distinct lack of Battlefield content on my channel. And, uh, well, that was by design, really. There's not much going on in the Battlefield scene right now. Dice LA are making the final DLC, Legacy Operations. And other than that... There's not much going on at all. They're just putting the final touches to that DLC, so there's no more updates coming other than this one that they're making. And I don't want to make a video with absolutely nothing in it or make a half assed commentary and you guys not really enjoy it, so I'm using Battlefront as my main source of content instead. But once some more content drops for Battlefield 4 with this Legacy Operations DLC, Likely in the new year, we're still waiting for two of the night maps that they created, which was Goldmud Railway and Seas of Shanghai. Both maps have not really been in the public eye for a good half a year now. I'm hoping they release those in 2016. That'd be really cool in like February and March to get two more maps to play with. I mean, I've got no information on it, but judging by what they've done in the CTE, I would really hope that that did make it out. But yes, Battlefield will return to my channel when there's something for me to talk about. As I said, I'm not interested in making a half ass video, and I'm not interested in really doing live commentaries all the time on this channel. For me, it's just not that entertaining. I don't like my voice all that much, so me talking while I'm playing, which distracts me anyway, would probably not make a very good video. So Battlefield will come back if and when there's content for me to produce. Next thing, sponsorship. And I spoke a lot about this in October. A lot of people noticed uh, the five videos that I created that were sponsored by Alienware. And I want to say, again, a massive thank you to everybody who was really supportive of that sponsorship. It meant a lot to me because I was really apprehensive about going into that. It gave me a great opportunity, but it also meant I had to run adverts on my channel where they wouldn't normally be. In fact, I know a lot of people use Adblock and try and get rid of adverts, so sorry to those people. But... I went into it very, very apprehensive, and I came out with a really good feeling because a lot of you guys accepted it and you understood why I did it, which has meant going forward, it's given me a little bit more confidence in using sponsorships to help me grow my channel and make it more successful for me personally as much as it is for you. So to try and explain that better, you might have noticed that this month, I've done a couple of videos on console, and the two ones in, sp well, specifically, uh, the thumbnails are on the screen right now so that you know which ones to look for if you do want to go and look at them. They're both sponsored by PlayStation, there is language in the description, and you'll know that they're sponsored by PlayStation because that's pretty much all I talk about during the video. And they wanted me to focus on a couple of the things that they're doing, they wanted me to focus on an event that they're running, and they wanted me to try and get them to use their share button and things like that. Now, ultimately, my goal now with YouTube is to try and take it to a place where I can use it as part of my daily income. For those of you that don't know, I do work a full-time job. So I work pretty much 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. And in the UK, that's 37 and a half hours a week. So that's a lot of work to do alongside running a YouTube channel that I produce maybe three or four videos a week. So you can imagine how much time 
is taken out of my life to do something like this, but I really, really enjoy it. And the only way for me to really progress with this channel and make it beneficial to me financially is to use sponsorship. Because of the rise of adblock and other things like that, and the fact that the YouTube CPM at the moment is probably the lowest that it's ever been, it means I need to find alternative sources for revenue for me to make this a possibility. And now with the Alienware sponsorship and the PlayStation sponsorship, I think they're both very respectable companies to be working for. And that's what I want to do. I want to associate myself with brands that you can trust as much as I do. And so the fact that I do get payment for doing work like that is beneficial to me. I'm hoping that by doing the sponsorship as much as lots of people don't like adverts, at least they're relevant to the channel that I'm trying to run here. And so moving forward, there may be more sponsorships in the future. I don't know what form they'll come in. They may be audio, they might be visual, they might be triangle. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to let you know that I am open to people sponsoring my content. But I wanted to also let you know that I'm only going to accept it if it's relevant to my channel. I'm not just going to go out there and take a sponsorship just for the money. I want to make sure that it actually offers value to you guys, the people watching my videos. So just to let you know, sponsorship is a thing. It won't be all the time, I promise. <laughs> it won't be all the time. But if I want to take YouTube full time, then it is a very effective way of me earning some revenue. And the last point that I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to get your feeling directly on the content that I create. Now, I really like making commentaries. This one isn't scripted, but I do like making commentaries that have a very specific point to them that I can explain my opinion and then at the end open it up to you guys to discuss in the comments. That's pretty much my favorite video to make. And whether it be about news, whether it be about something in a game or whatever it happens to be, that's pretty much my favorite video to make. Now I've also been doing a couple of live Battlefield videos recently that I did with Prodigio P and you guys seem to really enjoy those. Uh, I got similar views on that than what I would normally get on my commentary videos. So is that something that you want to see here on my channel? I don't want to make it the main focus, I just wanted to know whether that kind of content is something that you would enjoy watching. Ultimately, all decisions that I do with my channel will rest with me, so if I make a bad decision, I'd like somebody to tell me. But I'd also like somebody to tell me if they enjoyed that content and if they'd like to see more. And there were people in the comments saying that, but because it's the first time in doing it, I'm not really 100% sure if it's something you'd like to see moving forward long term. I did enjoy doing it. I love playing with Pete. He's a really cool guy. And uh, putting it here on my channel kind of made sense. I mean, it was uh, a good bit of banter going backwards and forwards. But I'd just like to know if that's something you'd like to see me do in the future. And one final thing. I promise this, this is the last one. Um, we recently hit 125,000 subscribers, so thanks very much. That was pretty awesome. And the fact that it only came three and a half months after we hit 100,000 was really cool for me because it's really showing me how much traction this channel is gaining. And it's not just me that's doing it. I, I, I do remember that. The only reason I am where I am is because of people like you who are sitting here listening to me ramble into a microphone. So thank you to everyone who subscribed in the last few months. It's really been awesome to see the numbers just flying up. And that's a really cool feeling. The fact that you've stuck with me and decided to watch my videos for that long is a, is a really cool feeling. So to everyone that's here, thank you for being here. Um, you make my part-time YouTube job. <laughs> very, very awesome to do, and long may it continue. But there we go. I'm going to shut up now uh, because I've talked for far too long, and I was envisioning this to be only about six minutes long, and we're now nearly ten minutes into it. <laughs> but thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. That would be pretty awesome. And leave me some comments, answer some questions, ask me some questions, and say good things in the comments. I think that would be really cool. <laughs> but thanks very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.